Okay, in this video we're looking at solving simultaneous equations, but this time we're just going to be solving them graphically. Uh, this is probably the method that takes the least amount of thinking when it comes to solving simultaneous equations. It's also probably the least accurate. Uh, let's take a look at what it would look like. Uh, we have this equation, y equals 2x. Now I'm not going to bore you with how to do it because you've just learnt how to do that in your last unit. But if I graph y equals 2x, it's going to pass through the origin and it's going to have a gradient of 2. It's going to look something like that. y equals 2x. That's this function here, y equals 2x. Now if I graph y equals 6 minus x, that has a gradient of negative 1 and it has a y-intercept of positive 6. So if I graph that, it's going to look something like this. It's going to pass through the y-axis there. It's going to come down here like this. And that's our equation y equals 6 minus x. Now, you should be able to see where we're heading here. Solving simultaneous equations graphically. Remember, a simultaneous solution is a pair of values, an x and a y value, that works for both of these lines. In other words, it's the intersection of those two lines. Now look for the intersection, not very difficult to find. That point is point two, four. Now if you watched the last video, you'll know that was coming. The simultaneous solution to these two equations is a point on a Cartesian plane, and that particular point is 2, 4. Uh, now we're just really getting started with simultaneous equations. In the next couple of videos, we're going to look at how to solve this without drawing a picture. We're going to look at how to solve this, uh, these equations using algebra.